All right, the weight of, ba of baby bags, of bags of baby carrots are normally distributed. What does that mean? Draw a normal curve, bell-shaped curve, with a mean of 35 ounces, so that's the mean, and a standard deviation of 0 0.36 ounce. Bags in the upper, in the upper, 4.5%. So in other words, in decimal, because our table is in decimal, I would be looking up that. We'll see. And what is the most a baby bag of carrots can weigh? So basically, I'm looking for x. So I'm using my z formula, x minus mu over the standard deviation. I need to find z based on the probability. I'm looking for x. That's what I'm solving for. And then they give me this other information. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. If you really, 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 really understand symmetry, you could look up this negative z value, which will be the area 0 0.0450, and just make it positive. If you don't understand symmetry, which I hope you do by now, then how you read these tables is from all the way at the bottom to that value. So that area all the way up to the bottom to that value would be 1 minus. Why 1 minus? Because all probabilities have to add to 1. And you should get 0 0.955. So either way, let's, let's see. So I can either look up, because I understand symmetry, I can find the value that looks to be closest to 0 0.045. No. Ah, maybe that one, 0 0.45. Where are we going here? 4.5. Yes, that's point zero 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 five so I guess negative one point six nine or negative one point seven zero or if I go to the other side and remember I'm looking for the point nine five five point nine five five that looks like that's the closest so a z of one point seven zero so however you do it if you do the positive or negative side and you really 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 need to understand the symmetry of why you can look up the positive or negative side. So now we know Z is 1.70, so and based off of the probability. So we go back to those algebra days, and you solve this for X by multiplying both sides by 0 0.36. Why? Because that cancels, right? Oops, I got my decimal in the wrong place. And so I get that. And then finally, I would add 34 to both sides. And when I multiply and add 34, I get 34.61, rounded to two decimal places, which makes sense because it should be bigger than 34, right? And so that X value would be 34.61.